Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to build a strategy step-by-step. -step. I'm literally building mine right now for Ottawa Reels and I wanted to show you how I do that so that you can follow along on the process. I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it and then hopefully this will guide you and answer some questions you might have. So one thing that I've done already is I, so if you watch the other videos, you'll see how to do this, but I found which videos on my Instagram I wanted to use as inspiration. So now I'm gonna show you how I grab those videos, those Reels that I saw that they were already performing really well remember things that I look for are do they have a lot of comments Do they have a lot of likes a lot of shares if they do then that tells me that they're doing something right and therefore I want to use that as inspiration I want to use those leaders in the field specifically in my niche as the inspo of how I'm going to create my strategy for this month moving forward so what I did was as I was going through my phone when I find something that I like I send it to my laptop which you'll see here I have all of these tabs opened up I already started going through and kind of putting them together so I just want to show you how I continue need to do this as you see as you guys know we have the reference which is the link so right now essentially all I'm doing later I'm gonna go in and edit this so that it's specific to me and my niche and the story that I want to tell and you know that the numbers match up to who I am but right now just to make this super quick I just want to grab all of the information capture it and put it into this document that I have here so this is how we do it this is what I'm gonna do with you really quickly right now on the call so I have my tabs opened up let's use this one as an example maybe I'll grab one that's like more strict to the point so as you can see these are obviously social media related so let's use this one I'll first thing is first is I grab the link I'll go ahead and bring it into the document put it in under the reference and then this blurb at the top so I have this already written up because I did use it right here so as you can see me trying to explain pe to people if they spend da -da -da -da. so I'll copy that as the real cover the text anyways in the real then I'll just go ahead this is her her first line hook I'll just go ahead and, and plug that in. This is the caption. So let me just go down. There we go. This is the caption. This is her call to action. So if you want to start making money from home but aren't sure how, comment how and we'll show you how. So that's her call to action. As you can see too, she actually has two call to actions. Okay, so plug that in. Okay, so now I want to show you how to personalize the popular ideas that we find. So as you know, at the beginning, we're gathering examples of content or topics that are performing well. So for example, let's take a look at this one that I found performed well. The topic is three tips on how to grow your Instagram account, which works for my niche, so I grabbed it as an idea, but now I want to find a way to personalize it. Okay, so here's her caption here. So to personalize it, I would just change the three tips in her caption to make it easier even more valuable. Instead of using her three tips, I want to add my expertise in there. So for example, I could do tip one, post often and consistently engage for 15 minutes a day with your audience and target audience, and three, train the algorithm, for example. So it's always better if we can change the scripts or captions and make them our own so they also have our personality, our expertise, our expert experience, or our personal tips in there. And of course, obviously, sometimes there's situations where we can copy the general tips because it's like a universal formula or truth. For example, if we're talking about the Instagram algorithm, it's obviously a topic or formula that's true for everyone. So we don't have to necessarily change it or like one plus one equals two. But whenever we can find an opportunity to add our personal touch in there, it's much better because those are the opportunities we have where we can show our audience what makes us stand out and demonstrate what makes us different from the rest. Because honestly, followers really like it when experts talk about their experience, opinion, or their you know personal point of view. So as a summary, if tips are general, General, we can of course copy them but we still should find those moments where we can personalize the caption and add our own twist in there and make it our own okay so hopefully that helps if you guys have any questions definitely of course reach out let me know and I'd be more than happy to help and until then we'll see you in the next video